What is up guys, Flossy Missiles here. Today's video is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna go through a bunch of Craigslist, OfferUp, um, Facebook, Samba ads, and show you guys some Volkswagens that I've maybe sent to my friends or people I know that are interested in buying a van. So first, let's start with this 82 Vanagon diesel. Two grand, super good deal. Uh, whoever bought this thing stole it. I've always wanted an 82 diesel. Living in California, you wouldn't have to smog it, so that'd be awesome. You could swap in a Subi or you know, any kind of motor, really. But for two grand, that thing was a steal. Here's an 87 Synchro Pop Top Subaru. So this is an 87 Synchro that someone converted into a Westphalia, but it's already Subi swapped. I believe they said at the 2.5 2 in it. Uh, seems like a pretty solid rig for 15,000. This was on the Samba. Uh, my buddy actually bought this van. So 86 van again, I believe he got it for 25. And it's been running great since he's had it. The only issue it has is um, the power steering rack it leaks, but that's no big deal really. This one's been posted on the Samba for like ever. Uh, this guy would probably take a lot less, 25000 uh, for the Synchro, but he's put a ton of work into it. It's got a Subi swap in it and a bunch of work, but like I said, it hasn't moved in like a year and he keeps updating the ad and whatnot, but it's not selling. This one went super fast. It's an 87 Westphalia van again right here in Huntington. Uh, yeah, for that price, 23, 23.5, that's, uh, that's going to move pretty quick. 87 van again for 5G's. It doesn't have a Westie top on it, but it has like the Westie hookups if you notice uh, right here. I don't know if this is some Riviera or some other brand of, of camper. I used to own this van. I bought it for I think 1100 bucks in San Diego. I drove it home, I waxed it, and then I sold it like a week later for 25. Now someone else has it and they sold it for, they're trying to sell it for 87. I thought this was pretty funny to show. Uh, really straight little van, base model, bare bones, everything. But uh, yeah, not a bad van. It's uh, The paint came back amazing on it. The paint looks so good. Uh, 86 Synchro. So yeah, pretty much uh, 10 top Synchro. Let me know what you guys think these things are worth. This one's for 17.5, and it looks like it's got a bunch of goodies on it. Here's a van I tried to buy, but I couldn't get there in time. 1985. Westy, I think they said it had a leaking heater core, but it ran and drove, did everything it was supposed to, registered, all that good stuff. And here's a few more pictures of it. This thing was a beauty. I really wanted to buy this. Okay, here's a, a hard top um, Synchro with a 2.5 in it for 10,600. I think this thing is a reasonable deal. It's pretty clean. I'd probably put a high top or something on it. Here's the van that you guys probably seen in the last three or four videos of me working on and driving. This is my uh, my Westie that I just purchased. I actually got it for four thousand dollars, so I was able to talk them down two thousand dollars off that price. But yeah, it's been a pretty good little rig. If you guys seen, here's an '84 base model. Looks like our GL. It has a blown head gasket, so you know this typical typical van again issue right there for twelve hundred bucks. Can't really beat it. And what do we got here? 86 Synchro with a rear locker for 10.5. It's not a Subi swap or anything like that, but uh, not a bad price for 10.5. You could probably knock them down a little bit on that. 91 Karat, super clean. Yeah, really clean van for 4,300 uh, bucks. Four speed, no dash crank. Yeah, runs and drives like new, perfect for camping, truly an antique. Yeah, not a bad price if you want uh, the lower look of the, the Karat. I heard these drive pretty nice too. Here's one that went super quick. It was an 84 like mine. Uh, by the time you usually text ones like these, they're usually gone. And I think I hit this guy up within minutes of it being posted. Usually someone will hit him up and be like, you know, he's, he's selling it for 24 for an 84 Westie and someone will hit him up and say, you know, I'll give you four grand if you let me pick it up tonight or whatever in a couple hours. This one's been for sale for a while on a, uh, on Facebook now and he keeps lowering the price. I think he's down to $2,000 now on this uh, 88 Weekender. As you can see, it has some damage, the door and the front piece right there, but he also is including replacement sheet metal. But yeah, I think he's down to like $2,000 on it right now. Here's a good shell, 250 bucks for this 86 Vanagon shell if you need sheet metal or doing a big project or something. Some good parts right there for 250 bucks in Gardena. Uh, here's one my buddy almost bought, 85 Westy. They said it ran and drove, but they wouldn't drive it back from Santa Barbara to like Riverside area. So he decided no on it. But for six grand, especially if you could talk him down a little bit on this thing, it's worth it in parts. Looked really, really clean. 
85 Westy with a engine swap. It was out of like a newer Jetta, I think they said. And they never completed the swap. And so it didn't run, but yeah. Usually when you find something that's been worked on like this and the wiring's all hacked into and it's all, all been messed with, uh, people don't really want them, I feel like, and so they go for pretty cheap. So yeah, this one's five grand, not bad. Oh, here's that one that I was talking about earlier that's been posted on Facebook that has the crash damage in the front. Here's a screenshot of it, screenshot of it at 2200. Uh, yep, there's a specs on it. Here's an 87 Synchro in Santa Monica for five grand. That's not bad at all. There is some damage right here. And, oopsie, there's some damage right up here. And I know he said the the front diff isn't hooked up right now. The drive shaft's taken out or something like that. But for five Gs, you can't really beat it. Looks like it has some rust, just rust issues around the windshield, as they all do. But, yeah, not bad. 84, just regular van again, it looks like. Thousand bucks in San Diego. This one was just posted the other day. Might still be up. Um, 2.5, Subi Swap Synchro Westfalia for 22,000. Not a bad deal either. It looked like it had some custom interior stuff done. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but for 22,000, you could probably get them down a little bit maybe on that price. It's not a bad, not a bad rig. This one's also currently posted on the Samba for 6,900. Um, yeah, just pretty bare bones synchro really. This is the kind of synchro I'd probably buy, one that's a West Folly, it just needs some work. Here's for $10,000, an 87 Westy um, synchro. I, like, I love that color actually, it looks so sick. And yeah, it looked very complete. Here's like the van I just purchased. Um, this one runs and drives, but I think he said the engine is tired and needs to be replaced or something like that in this ad. But it's for six grand, hit them down on that price a little bit if you can. And not bad for, for a Westie. And it looks super duper complete. The payment probably come out pretty nice and clean up clean up good. You just gotta toss a Subi in there or rebuild that, that stock Volkswagen engine. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's kind of different me going through a bunch of these Volkswagen ads. I also have bay window buses and bugs and all kinds of other stuff. If you guys want to make videos on those, let me know. Let me know what the prices are around your area. This is usually, these are all usually uh, SoCal ads and uh, around my area for pretty much, I might go a little bit up north a little bit, some, some Central California stuff and maybe even a little bit of Arizona ads I throw in here every once in a while that I'm sending to my friends. But yeah, thank you for watching this week's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. Thank you so much for watching.